Aunt Betty Geocacher reporting from the jungle, I mean the field, um, in Biloxi, Mississippi. Uh, if you look over that way, you can see the Gulf of Mexico. And over this way is a TB hotel. Let's open it up and see what we can find. Cute little bird. It's a little worse for the wear, but okay. Let's see. There are any travel bugs in here? Uh, doesn't doesn't look like anything in that. Let's see if this little guy is a travel bug. Uh, no. Around me are sculptures. They are trees that were damaged in Hurricane Katrina, and and transformed into beautiful art. There's one. There's one over there. Here's one. Another over here. And then the fifth one right here. here uh, the sea turtle and he's down just a little bit there he is hello mr sea turtle Looks like a man uh, but oh yeah check him out cute little fella how'd he get up here I'm loving the little animal themed caches here. I've found a uh, turtle and a crab and now a bear. And this bear seems to have a problem, a growth of some time, some kind, poor thing. Yo, sitting on a corner in Biloxi, just found a nano cache at a stop sign. Cute little thing. I was having a heck of a time getting the log out, because, you know, it's a nano. I got no tweezers with me. Then I realized, take the base, which has a magnet in it. There's a little piece of metal in the middle of the log. Ooh, look at that. It pulls it out for you. Sweetness. I'm so famous here in Biloxi. I came here to cash. And they threw me a parade. Ah, check it out. Of course, I don't know why everybody's not in purple instead of green, but. Cash. But where's the lid? 
Yeah, and Betty dropped it. It's okay, it's just down there on the ground. Where's the cash? Doing a little caching today in uh, the Gulf Coast, and my goal today was to hit up some caches that have travel bugs so that I can um, swap out some that I've been carrying around for too long. So, found this, this cache, nice ammo can in the front yard of the CEO, and uh, it's in honor of uh, his mother uh, and the kid's grandmother. And uh, bonus, not only can I uh, trade out travel bugs, but I can get some exercise in the process. Yeah, feel the burn. Ah, oh, yeah. Uh, this is a travel bug, so I'll be bringing it back to Tennessee. I am visiting the largest Letter box in Mississippi. <laughs> oh man, this is awesome. Wait till you see this. And come on in. <laughs> Here's the log. And check it out. Check out. Oh, look at this guy. Ha! Yeah. Trackables to move along. More trackables probably discovered. I don't know. Got a nice fan going in here to keep it good and cool. Oh man, look at all the trackables. Yeah, I've hit the mother load. What's that I see? Whoop, whoop. An ammo can in the woods. Sweet. This uh, particular cash owner is pretty awesome. Oh, look at all the containers down in here for other caches and actually I have uh, communicated with him and he's agreed to be a uh, resident maintainer for me if I want to hide a cache here in this area so I think I'm gonna do that and after grabbing the final for the where I go nearby I walked over here and what do I find another ammo can this is the uh, final foray multi that started at the cash owner's house. Uh-oh. Yep. Got to take this little girl with me. I'll leave one of my flamingos in her place. Awesome caching down here in Mississippi. So some of the caches I found yesterday were cute little animals like a crab and a sea turtle. And they were hidden by Miss Alley Bug, I think is the name of the CO. And uh, so the name of this one is Love Bug. I wonder where I might find a love bug around here. Anybody got any ideas? Hmm. Uh, a car. Uh, let's see. Uh, could there be something in the car? I don't know. It said something about a broken uh, passenger side window. Just reach in and grab it. But I sure am not seeing anything in here. Hmm. Yeah. Well, okay, obviously I'm blind. 
yeah. Inside the bug is a bug. Yeah. Cute. My GPS is drunk again. I just followed it trying to get to an earth cache and once I arrived I was two and a half miles away on the wrong side of a bay. So here we go again trying uh, to get lane. there. Don't turn right onto Wells Drive. Says I'm seven minutes away so wish me luck. Here's my hide. The container actually came out of an ammo can that uh, was a hide that the guy that's going to be my resident maintainer had put out. So, pretty good, full circle. I've stopped off at Pops Landing, Causeway Park, I think it is, to do an earth cache. And, uh, it always makes you a little nervous when you see this sign. Alligators and snakes. Yikes. But it's a beautiful area. Marshland. Got uh, rivers coming in. Three different rivers meet here. And uh, this earth cache is all about erosion and measures to prevent erosion. As part of my quest today to find several different cache types, I have now stopped in Mississippi City for a virtual cache. And this is the site of the uh, original courthouse for Harrison County, Mississippi. So I'm uh, going to go over here, check out this uh, sign, and get the info I need. So I was thinking this building looked like it was in pretty good shape to uh, have been built in the 1800s. But uh, then I read it was destroyed in Hurricane Katrina in 2005. And so this is a replica that was constructed in 2009. place. I am uh, out on a limb, literally. There's Legal Eagle. How come she didn't fly up here? Eagles fly, right? Not this one, she says. Just uh, replaced the cash for cash owner I've kind of become buddies with out here. And uh, I think that's it for the day, other than maybe a leg or two of an adventure lab. Now for the final stop on today's adventure lab journey. And uh, this is a Vietnam Veterans Memorial. Pretty sacred space. And Betty Geocacher, I am walking into the sunset to uh, log one last geocache on my adventure here in the uh, Gulf Coast of Mississippi. It's been a great trip. Hope you guys have enjoyed watching it on video. Aunt Betty out. I just thought I was ready to sign off on this adventure. I had just read the log from the previous finder who said that they dropped the lid in the grass, which is green, the lid's green, the grass is green, and then I did the same thing. Of course I did. I'm Aunt Betty. Uh, looks like I'm going to be searching down here on my hands and knees for this stupid thing. Uh, I'll let you know if and when I find it. Hey, Devin, what are you doing? Uh, I'm looking for the top to the cache that Betty dropped. Imagine that. Me? Drop the lid? To a cache? Never. Yes, you.
gotta be down here somewhere. This is uh, what we're looking for. A uh, green nano lid. It's gotta be close. But, anybody, oh wait, no, sorry. It's just a flower. If anybody finds it, let me know. Order.